One of the more controversial aspects is the residency requirement. If they take four years of free SUNY tuition, they have to stay in the yeah. state for four years. And yeah. people have said, well, what if you can't get a good job? You end up you know, working at McDonald's. Yeah. Um, you know, how, how is that going to work out for the student? And how, do they have to pay back the loan? What are the terms of that? Yeah. Well, they do. Yes, they do. But here's the, here's the thing. 85% of SUNY's, SUNY's graduates stay to work and live in New York anyway. So we're talking about about 15%. Mm -hmm. And there are waivers for the military. There are exceptions that can be made. So I think this is just New York saying we want a return on our investment. And I go, fair enough. Yeah. So um, they still have to pay for room and board. They do. Right. And, you know, talking to younger people these days, that's two two times as much as the tuition. Right. So it's not free. I mean, they, they do no. are going to have a stake in having it. Families are going to still have to invest money. Well, it's interesting. I'm on a national commission that initially called itself free college. Mm -hmm. We spent the first four hours of our board meeting defining free. Free mm -hmm. is a concept. It's a vision of, gee, I might be able to go to college when I thought I never would. And that free word is pulling a lot of people in. But we are also able to use a lot of our scholarship money to buy down room and board and buy down the cost of books because of Excelsior. So Excelsior and Pell and the tuition assistance program take care of tuition. Then we have the other philanthropic money to buy down room and board and texts.